Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Andrew's World here. If you guys are following me on Twitter, you know that I have some pretty big plans on YouTube that I really want to get accomplished, and that's why I haven't been actually posting videos on this channel for a little while. But I figured until those plans can actually get started and I can really get those things rolling and really solid, I figured I can just keep posting Nexus 1 and My Touch Slide videos on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually completely jailbreak and root the Nexus 1. All the download links and everything will be in the description. And after this video, you guys are just going to start getting a lot of ROM reviews and tutorials on this device. Once I can get the My Touch Slide rooted, I'll do the tutorial on that. Um, I actually did this video in one take on my first try ever jailbreaking it because you can't unjailbreak the device. So that's why the style that I do is a little different. It's kind of like my old The Gadget Pro videos where I have the phone up by the computer. So that's why you'll see that's a little different. But I am excited to get back to these videos. So let's get to the tutorial. Alright guys, so just to make sure I got it all right, I did indeed write out a actual full written tutorial. I'll see if I can link to that in the description. If not, you're just going to have to go with me on this. Regardless of that, you're going to make sure your phone is plugged in through USB and make sure it's off. And you're just going to hold down the trackball and turn on the po hold down the power. You're going to keep holding down the trackball. And that'll take you into this white screen. So when you're there, you can just go ahead and open up a terminal. And make sure you guys do not get anything wrong. And I'm going to go ahead and move this actual document over here real quick. Get my terminal ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in CD space. I'm going to go ahead and drag over the, uh, the fast boot folder right here. And just hit and then hit enter. And there you are. And the next thing you're going to want to do is type in period slash fast boot dash mac and you hit space oem space unlock and hit enter and almost immediately you'll get this little notification on your nexus one itself telling you that you're about to unlock the bootloader so you're going to use the volume up and hit it once to hit yes and then you're just going to tap the power button and your phone will indeed boot on with the little unlock logo right there and there it is so we've officially unlocked the bootloader. So now we're actually going to get root access on our Nexus One. So uh, what you're going to do is download the Super Boot for your actual device. Go ahead and tap Menu and go to Settings on your Nexus One and check in the About Phone uh, what phone build yours is. Mine is the ERE27. And I'm going to make sure you have that exact one downloading because that, that is going to be required for your phone. And uh, you're going to just go ahead and let your Nexus boot up. So you guys can probably see it did indeed wipe my Nexus 1. I'm just going to hold down the power key to turn it off, tap power off, hit OK, and that will indeed shut off my phone. Now I'm going to hold down the trackball once again and click the power. Um, keep holding down the trackball and I'm going to let go of the power now and I should again get this white screen now on the actual terminal it'll, itself it'll say unknown error don't worry guys it still worked so you're still right you're still in the clear so now you're going to type in CD and hit space and you're going to drag the super boot folder to the terminal so I'm just going to drag that over and I'm going to hit enter and you're good with that again so now what you're going to want to do is type in chmod space plus x space install dash superboot dash mac dot sh hit enter and that should be clear as well now you're going to type period slash install dash superboot dash mac dot sh and again hit enter It'll say sending, writing, and that should be good as well. And now all you're going to want to do is get the Amon Ra recovery image. So you're going to make sure you download Amon Ra. Um, I downloaded the cyan flavor, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the actual cyan color. And um, I have that right here on my desktop. And what I'm actually going to do is have fastboot.mac on my desktop. And I can go ahead and just leave that there for a second. And what I'm going to want to do now 
is uh, turn off my phone once again. So let's see, we can hit volume down, hit power down. And when the phone's off, I'm going to turn on the phone with trackball and power once again. See if that shuts down. And um, just go ahead and let your phone shut down and then turn it back on with trackball and power once again. So my phone boot up, so I'm going to hold down the power key once again. I'm going to tap power off, and I'm going to hit OK, and that should indeed shut down my phone. And when it shuts down, I'm going to hold down the trackball, turn on the power, and keep holding down the trackball. And that will take me into this white screen once again. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and open up a new terminal, just for the case of it. And I'm again, have fastboot-mac on your desktop. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is CD into my desktop. So I'm going to type in CD space. Um, and let's go ahead and was not on the terminal. Type in CD space swirly line. And um, I don't know what that's called. And slash capital D and then desktop. And then just hit enter. And now what I'm going to want to do is just type in dot slash fast boot dash Mac space devices and hit enter and now what I'm going to want to do is actually install the recovery image itself so let's go ahead and go back in the terminal and we're going to type in quite a long code here we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space recovery space recovery dash capital R A dash nexus dash v 1.7.0.1 dot img hit enter and it should be writing the recovery and uh, sending the recovery and everything and you should be done and you should just turn off your phone and you have officially rooted your nexus one alright guys so now your nexus one is finally rooted you're finally gonna be able to get all my tutorials on ROMs and themes hacks mods all kinds of stuff I've had a rooted nexus one for a very long time so I know all the ROMs. I'm currently running Signature Mod 6. So I'm really excited to get this thing going. Hope you guys are excited for my videos. And if you are, make sure you click the thumbs up video, uh, thumbs up link on the bottom of this video as well as favorite it. And of course, follow me on Twitter, twittercom slash Other than that, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.